Get great deals on the latest phones, tablets, and business apps with O2 Business. Hey guys, you're watching BTEX. I'm Basil, and this is the Nexus 6P made by Huawei. If you like Huawei, if you want to win a Huawei P9, then make sure you check out Gina's Friday update video. She explains exactly how you can bag one for yourself. It's an international giveaway, so that means you, wherever you are in the world. Back to the Nexus 6P. This is running the new version of Android N Dev Preview. So it was launched yesterday, released yesterday. It has a few changes to the user interface, but also a few changes under the hood as well. As far as user interface changes go, first off, the most immediately obvious one, those folder icons are round circles that give you a peek into what applications are within them. On top of that, you can also expect devs to be able to add specific kind of in-app instance shortcuts to the home screen. So what that actually means is a lot like Apple's forced touch, you can long press, well, I'm expecting it'll be done with a long press on an application, or you'll just be able to have a shortcut to a specific point in an application, and you can jump straight into, for example, send a message to your favorite contact, rather than having go into messages and select your favorite contact. Long and short of it is that it's meant to be time-saving. It'll really depend on devs to take advantage of that, but looking forward to seeing how that's adopted into Google's own applications. Hopefully that'll happen a lot sooner. You also have another superficial change, and that comes in the form of everyone's favorite emoji. You can see if I open the emoji keyboard, everything is a little bit more human, and that's what Google is going for. And you've also got various skin tones for said humans as well. So it's all a little bit more PC too. Now, the final, oh, well, superficial change comes in the form of the camera. The camera when recording video now in stock Android camera, um, you can actually snap photos as well. So I'm recording a video and I'm taking photos. It's still got touch to focus, which is great. So that is wonderful. And the last, last, last camera change on the left-hand side is, if I pull in, um, you can see quickly access slow motion video through there. Under the hood, there are a few other changes. Probably the most exciting of note is the new Vulkan 3D rendering API. That's gonna mean that you can actually um, get better power effectively in terms of gaming oomph out of a device um, because it'll just make it all a lot more efficient. Now we're not devs, so we can't tell you how much of a difference that actually makes. If you are a dev and you are actually watching this, then let us know. We would appreciate your insight. Um, and yeah, let us know what you think of the new version of Android and Dev Preview. Thanks for watching BTECH and remember, 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 if you want to win a Huawei P9, check out Gina's Friday update video. Get great deals on the latest phones, tablets and business apps with O2 Business.